Hi everyone, trust you all are doing well. So we're going to be implementing trials in our block series right here. So we can do trials in two ways. We can do them with the payment upfront. So meaning the customer have to actually sign up with the details. And the next one is obviously if they just register their account, they get a free trial. Right, so we can do it in two ways. So in this episode, we're going to do it with payment upfront and the other one with up. So let's get started. Right, so let's open up our payment controller, the one that actually handles creating a subscription. So that's what number two ways we can do this. And if we go to your store method right there, you will see here we've got the customer, all right, the user right there, and then we have a plan. We get the plan and then we create get that user. Then we create a new subscription with this plan and the Stripe ID right there, and then we're gonna create the subscription. All right now, before we create, we can add it in two ways. We can add a trial, a trial days. We can add it like this. You can choose however many days. Let's say seven, ten, twenty doesn't matter. Right, so I'm just going to do a thirty day trial. That's one way to do it. Or you can add trial until like this, and then you can use the carbon helper now, and then you can add weeks right not centuries so you can add weeks or you can add days right so you can specify the amount of days or you can add months so in my case i will just add a month all right just like this so instead of that i'm just going to do it like that so now basically what will happen is as soon as we create a new subscription we will have a trial until then we add the day basically a month to that and then we're going to create the subscription all right so let's quickly save this and let's quickly sign up with john doe to see if we add a trial all right, so let me quickly sign up with a monthly plan all right so i'm going to add quickly a couple of details so see you after this all right so as you can see i'm currently subscribed to the monthly plan right there and i have my cancel subscription button right there now the thing is i want to show you in stripes dashboard right so as you can see we have a trial and add status under subscription before they actually charge the customer they will wait until this trial ends right there as you can see the billing is on auto and you can see the product is the monthly plan and when it was created right there so it'll fill in this field right here and in the database it will also add a trials and add for us all right now what will happen now is as you can see that uh, the stripe status is set to trialing and you will see when the trial is going to end right there as you can see on the 17th of december a month from now at that time now the thing is let me quickly show you another table let's go there under the users table you will see there is a trials end at right here now this trial ends it is for the global one where the without the customer actually putting in their stripe details okay so they they credit card or anything like that we're going to use this one in the next episode so under the users table you will see there's a trials end it right there we're going to use this for the global free trial with without actually having to sign up the customer's details all right so now the thing is this is not the message we want to display to the customer all right so because they might think that they already paying where they on a free trial so what i want to do now is i want to give a customer a message right here to tell them listen your trial will end on december right and then after that but then we want to display this as soon as their trial ends right just to give the customer a better user experience right so let's do that all right, so let's quickly open our index for our membership. Let me go to that view right there. So as you can see right here, we got the subscribing to a product. Then we check if basically they subscribe. We check if they're on grace period, if they cancel their subscription, all that kind of stuff. I'm going to make this unfortunately a bit smaller so that you guys can easily see everything because I'm going to type quite a bit in here. Right now, the thing is, let's quickly open our blade service provider all right now i'm going to create another method in here called on trial all right so let me just quickly go to on gray spirit and actually just copy this one down now i'm going to create a method called on trial all right so what we want to do is we want to plop us in the user 
and we pass through the plan. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to check if the user, all right, is subscription plan, all right, and then we can check if they're on trial. That's one way to do it, like this, all right? So we can check if the current user subscription plan is on trial, or we can just pass it like this, or if the user is on trial, just like that, without that, and we just pass in the plan like this so that's the two ways we can do it let me make it a bit bigger so there's the two ways we can do it we can do it on trial like this all right or we can check it like this totally up to you so i'm just going to use this one right here okay so let's quickly go in our index view this one right here so now the thing is now it's going to get a little bit tricky all right so let's quickly get our first one message right here so we're going to get our on trial like this and we're going to pass in the user and we're going to pass in the plan and we're going to get that stripe plan right and then we can just do end on trial right so what i want to do now is i want to give a trial message so let's do the message uh, trial message like this Right, and then we're just going to copy this part right here and paste it in there. Right, now the thing is, what we're going to do now is we're going to let the user inform them basically when the trial will end. So I'm just going to do a background green. Let's say 400. Right, so now you currently, let's just change this to your trial will end on all right and then we're going to get the user all right that we pass through the authenticated user because if we go to our membership controller let me just quickly open that member controller all right you will see we passed the authenticated user to the view right there okay so now we're going to get that authenticated user and then we want to call trial ends at a method okay and then we're just going to pass in the plan Stripe name, and then we just want to format that. Okay, so let's just do that format, and then we can just format to obviously just a more readable format for the customer. So just like that. Okay, so basically we're going to tell the customer your trial will end on whatever this date gives us back. Okay, so at this moment it will be 17 December 2021. Okay, so that's the first thing. Now on trial right there. Now the next thing is we're going to add an else statement right here. So we're going to add an else. Now everything underneath this until the end of grace period. Right. So let's copy everything right here until the end of grace period right there. So let's just cut out everything like this. Right. So the end trial ends there. And then we add that in there. Okay. So that's why I wanted to make this a little bit smaller. All right, so this is my normal size window to work in. So let me just, hopefully you guys can see. So this is the on trial, and this is where it ends. Okay, so the gray spirit, everything in here moves up. Then we got our message right there. And then we got our on trial there, right there. And, and there's our end on trial right there. So let me just move this in right so this is our else statement like this okay so this is kind of just a little bit easier to see so that's our subscription then we check the trial then we're going to say if the person is basically on trial then we're going to just say your trial will end at on whatever this date is then we're going to do an else statement if they're not on a trial anymore then we want to show them listen they currently on this plan with this cancel button if they're on a grace period we want to show them this and then here is our end trial, and this is our else for our sign up right there. Okay, so I'm just going to make this smaller again, bigger again, actually. And then it's going to move it up. All right, hopefully you guys could see everything. Just pause the video and kind of just make sure that you have that in there. All right, so let's quickly see if we display this message to the customer. Right, so as you can see, your trial will end on 17 December. Then you can add extra information right here, and then we will charge your credit card or whatever you guys want to add in there. I just wanted to do it uh, just as simple as possible. Right, so you can just change it right there. So after the trial ends, basically what will happen now is they will 
see that you are currently subscribed to the monthly plan and you can cancel the plan. All right. So that's an end of this episode, guys. If you like the video, please give it a like. If you have any questions, feedback or suggestions, please leave it to me in the comment section. All right. So what we're going to do in the next episode, we're going to deal with a global free trial. So as soon as the user actually sign up without actually doing any payment, they will be given a monthly plan right there. Okay. So see you guys there and adios.